Ladies and gentlemen of the Natural Hair Care Jury, this month in my shower, I'm featuring Cantu Shea Butter Products for Natural Hair. Hi, I'm Healy Means. Welcome and welcome back to my channel where we judge products, not people. The first product that I have is the Sulfate Free Cleansing Cream Shampoo. It has a rich lather that removes heavy buildup, gentle formula that prevents breakage and is great for natural and colored hair. This is a 13.5 fluid ounce. It is fairly fluid. It's kind of thick. And y'all know I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this back into the container. Because we're not wasting this and today is not wash day. I guess I am going to be putting it in my hair today. <laughs> to me it has a, a slightly flowery scent. Let's see what the ingredients say. So I can't make out the fragrance. It doesn't smell like shea butter. It doesn't smell bad at all. I just, I can't place the smell. I'm not real good with smells. The next product that I have is the sulfate-free hydrating cream conditioner. Again, no sulfate, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. But why would the conditioner have sulfates anyway? It says it helps hair retain natural oils, reveals healthier hydrated hair and is great for natural and colored hair again 13.5 fluid ounce looks hopefully you can see it's pretty thick it's very now uh, this is creamy it's like a medium you know consistency if I hold my hand down long enough it'll probably slide down eventually but it's it's a nice medium consistency now I definitely would say that this is a cream conditioner the shampoo, not creamy. And again, there's no way for me to get this back into there. So this is going on top of my head because now we will have a wash day. The next product I have is the Deep Treatment Mask. It restores and strengthens dry damaged hair. And this is 12 fluid ounce. This container feels heavy. This 12 ounce feels heavier than the 13.5 ounce shampoo and conditioner this is very thick oh my goodness this feels like eucerin lotion if you're familiar with that eucerin lotion this is it's smooth it's creamy but it feels very thick I can see this 12 ounce container lasting me a very long time the first thing that I have is the conditioning creamy hair lotion conditions curly wavy hair leaves curls full of body and shine softens and detangles and this is 12 ounces no sulfate silicones parabens or mineral oil which is good glycerin is the second ingredient uh, for those who may be sensitive to that ingredient, canola oil is the third ingredient. One of the first times I've seen canola oil actually as an ingredient in um, a commercialized hair product. There is shea butter, satiro alcohol, fragrance, cetyl alcohol, soybean oil, coconut oil, aloe vera leaf juice, sweet almond oil, 
uh, a lot more oils, mango seed butter, uh, but you get the gist. And I'll have the ingredients posted up somewhere in the video anyway. This has a similar smell to the shampoo and conditioner. Again, th these products are just seem to be thick. So this is sliding down my hand. It's uh, a bit thinner than the conditioner. These products seem like they would only mix with themselves, but I'm not sure. As long as it's not like that, the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla 401 Calming Cream. Y'all, I put that in my hair today, and then I was gonna slick down my edges with the Main Choice 24 Karat Gel. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I still have not found a product that will mix with that 401 Calming Cream. I need y'all help with that because I have quite a few of the Carol Daughters lines that have the 401 Calming Cream, and like, I'm not wasting them products. I'm going to use it. I'm going to find them a way to make it work. The next item I have is a coil comb detangler. It says it smooths coils for soft, tangle-free hair. Adds shine and moisturizes strands. Made with pure shea butter. This is 8 ounces. This is a spray. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's like that single shot spray. Did y'all see that? And this is kind of, uh, I mean, it's obviously thinner than the conditioner. It's thinner than the conditioning creamy hair lotion. It appears kind of light. Uh, it has a similar smell as, as the rest of the products in this line. But uh, we'll see if it um, if it if it's a good detangler or not. The next product I have is the Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. Activates curls, delivers volume and shine, reveals frizz-free bouncy curls. This is 12 fluid ounces. Make sure you can. Oh, uh, yeah, this is. So this is, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit thinner than the conditioning creamy hair lotion and a little bit thinner than the, the hydrating cream conditioner. You know, I used to have Elmer's glue in school and as it was beginning to dry, so like the glue wasn't all the way dry, but as it was beginning to dry, and you kind of got that, that tackiness, that's how this feels. And the last thing that I have is the leave-in conditioning cream. Helps repair hair breakage, leaves hair soft and manageable. This is 12 ounces. This is another heavy product. This feels very heavy. And if it's heavy in a jar, I feel like it's gonna be heavy on my hair. And the only heavy thing my hair likes is deep conditioners. So the deep treatment mask, my hair will probably like that. I'm not sure about this leave-in conditioning cream. And just to make sure, but this, this is thick too. Oh, um, it's almost like a, like a half whipped creamy consistency. Smells the same. I'm gonna hold my judgment on these products until I actually use them in a wash day routine. These are the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair products that I have. Again, I have the cleansing cream shampoo, the hydrating cream conditioner, the deep treatment mask, the conditioning creamy hair lotion, the coil calm detangler, the moisturizing curl activator cream, and the leave-in conditioning cream. Let me know your thoughts and your experiences with these products. Thank you for watching this video. 
share your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, remember, judge products, not people.